Hi, and welcome to today's TMC Newsroom. I'm Kelly McGuire with today's top stories. Service providers and communities that were lucky enough to receive a broadband grant in the first round of grant awards may have gotten through one hoop to, to fulfill their broadband ambitions, but they are facing uncertainty over whether those grants will be taxed by Uncle Sam. Another local backlash against the installation of smart meters, and this time it's not the Bakersfield, California, home of the original smart meters lawsuit that, rattles, that rattled utilities nationwide late last year, is being reported. The Dallas Morning News reported that hundreds of Texans who receive smart meters in Encore service territory are complaining about the accuracy of smart meters after receiving unusually high energy bills after the meters were installed. Senator Troy Frazier, also chairman of the Senate Business and Commerce Committee, asked the Texas Public Utility Commission to call for a halt of the meter installations and to start an independent audit. The PUC tells the Dallas Morning News that it hopes to hire an auditor within the next two weeks to review the meter's accuracy, but no word on whether Encore will slow down its deployment. And to date, there has been no comment by Encore. It's been a tough time for the cable industry lately. Between feuding disputes in rival companies and the disagreements have affected more than just the providers themselves, and now someone is trying to do something about it. According to reports from Reuters, a coalition of cable and satellite companies will this week call on the US FCC to create a new process to resolve increasingly bitter disputes over carriage fees paid to broadcasters. The group, which includes rival TV distributors such as Time Warner Cable, DirecTV, and Dish Network, serve more than 65 million U.S. homes. They will file a petition with the FCC, which argues that the current retransmission consent regimen is flawed. The most recent dispute was when ABC Network pulled its signals from New York's Cablevision System Corp. on the eve of the Oscars. Time Warner Cable also had a public, flight, public fight with the News Corp.'s Fox Network on New Year's Eve. The disputes are over how much TV distributors should pay for the right to carry the free-to-air broadcast signals of ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. The increasing likelihood that broadcasters will pull their signals and leave customers with blank screens is a major concern for cable and satellite operators who have to bear the brunt of furious customer reactions. That's all for today. For more information, visit www.tmcnet.com. I'm Kelly McGuire with the TMC Newsroom, and thanks for watching.